Ooh. This is day five, right? I don't know. <laughs> it's Thursday. It's Thursday. We got some breakfast at a cafe before we hit up the national park. We made it to the national park and then we got to stamp it with a little volcano stamp and then today's date. This is um, a passport that Scott bought me. It's the first park we've been to that we've been able to use it. We've been to other national parks, just didn't have this for it. So, but I'm gonna leave this in the car and we're about to start a hike. So we're starting out. We got our first hike of the day. <laughs> you look I don't like need the glasses right now. No. It's a little rainy, so I bought a poncho. Let me see if I can flip this. Hello. <laughs> We're going to do the steam vents trail. And the sulfur banks. And the sulfur banks. Shouldn't be that long or hard. It's an easy hike and it's how many miles? Uh, 25. 25. It's like, what, 50 something degrees? It's a little chilly. Yeah, it's in the 60s. I thought it was like 55. Yeah, I think it's 62. Oh well. All right, Sulphur Banks Trail, here we come. That Crater Rim Trail, I think is 11 miles round trip, so we might just do pieces of it, but not the whole thing. Look at my little park ranger. You're so cute. Yeah, I have a bathing suit on. <laughs> it smells good too. It smells earthy. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the sulfur. Yeah, that's his sulfur <laughs> smell. Oh, it's stinky out here. Okay. No, it's not that bad, but... Summit collapse. Set the stage for the sulfur bags. <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah, now I am. Oh. Nope, I'm going to keep it to myself. We're on a hike. Uh, we're on a walk. We're on a walk. People kicked out some of these uh, rugs. I'm glad it stopped raining. I bought a little poncho at the visitor center, but it's in my backpack. I don't know if I'll need to pull it out quite yet. I think it'll rain again. It will rain again. The weather today said on and off rain all day, but it's keeping things cool, so yeah. I don't mind. And if it's overcast, better for photos, better for my alabaster skin. <laughs> better for pollen probably for my allergies. It's true, keeps it down. So here it says someone in September of 2000 stepped off the path and got severe leg well, burns. Step off the path. Stop from steam, and then there's another one here from 1996. So that's all. Let's go. <laughs> Definitely will not be stepping off this walkway. Apparently, that's the hole where the person well, burned themselves. Hole. I don't know. If that's the hole. It said the hole. It says the hole. Yeah, and there's the sulfur oh. steam coming out. Well, there's the hole. <laughs> if we look deep in there, we'll find some. Fleshy sulfur. I don't get it. Or sulfury flesh? Yeah, that's the like sulfur is laying over there. That's gross. See the sulfur crystals? I thought they were the rocks. Oh, no, please. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't see any. Maybe they're underground? I don't think oh, so. Look at all this yellow. That's sulfur. Maybe that's what they're talking about. got windy and rainy all of a sudden. <laughs> she got mad at me and now she's happy as hell.
reach the rim of the volcano. That's the crater. Wide view. Jeez. Yeah. A lot of steam over here too. The steam is really warm, which is nice. This is a super steep drop off right across this grass. <laughs> it's really scary. <laughs> we don't want to drop any of our personal belongings. I don't want to have to fly away. Yeah. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifted through the wind and wanting to start again? <laughs> Do you ever feel just so paper thin? <laughs> no, Katy Perry. Plastic thin. No, I'm singing Katy Perry. I know, but opportunity lost. <laughs> Feel the facial on your skin. Is it warm? My legs are warm. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I feel it. It's nice. <gasps> oh, it's really hot. Oh, wow. It's really foggy, too. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> We drove to a different part of the park now. We're gonna walk from this location to the lava tubes. It's a Hawaiian. Mm -hmm. There's your translation. Oh. Too close to the edge. This is the trail. <laughs> and then, I don't know if you could tell on the screen how steep it just drops into nothingness. One wrong move and you're tumbling. Yeah, you'd catch on a tree. Bah, il y a des trous, des fissures, quoi. I've done good with not losing my hat. I don't need to start now. Mm. Although it has a flown away from me. Oh, there's people down there. Where? What do you mean? Oh my gosh, they're so tiny. We can go down there. <laughs> yeah, but that's a really long hike to get down there. Might be worth it. Mm. Look, they're all the way out there too. Oh, wow. I like the perspective is crazy because I thought people would look a lot bigger down there. I didn't realize how far away they were. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we go. Oh. Oh gosh, we're going into the lava tube right now. A little creepy. Very creepy. I don't like it. Do you want to get through? How long is it? It's part of the half mile over there. Oh god, it just dropped off. We have to walk back on the outside. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to have to come back too. I love that that's filmed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the water to hit your head and you go, ugh. It's already hitting me. Oh. Hey. Hey. get some wet toes. That's what that water meant. Don't stub your toes on the rocks and the, you can turn your flashlight on. Oh, you look cool with the lighting on you. <laughs> well, it was, oh, look, look at your shadow. This was um, not that long, thankfully, because I was getting a little nervous. All right, we're gonna do the 1.2 mile hike down to the crater floor. Not the round trip, which is four miles, but <laughs> finally got that folded. <laughs> um, we should clean our shoes.
we just sprayed alcohol on the bottoms of our shoes and then used those little brushes to clean them off so we don't accidentally track anything infectious yeah into the forest we had to do that at the one lookout also but that one didn't have an alcohol spray bottle just the little brushes for our feet but yep we're doing it we're going to the crater right now it's just like a slow steady decline so that's a little comforting for knowing that we have to come all the way back up Unfortunately, the 1.2 miles to the floor is accurate and it's not 1.2 down and back. Yeah. There it is. There's the crater. We were up there not too long ago. And then some people are opting to do the four mile loop to continue all the way through, but I think we're just gonna go back. venture and go back. We came to the crater, we saw it, <laughs> and now we're gonna track the mile and a quarter back up. So there might not be any <sighs> filming of that. <laughs> I think it's just easier if you cut it. You're supposed to be able to just do this and get it open, but and I did it yesterday, but this is, I think it's just easier to do this. Ooh. Yeah, they're juicy, these lychee. <gasps> wow. That's fun. They're juicy. I'm getting apricot. Okay. I, mean, I was telling Coral, I apparently bought the wrong ones. They're not supposed to be black at all, it just means they're overripe. Mm hmm. Does that hurt your fingers to touch? No. Yeah. Why does it look the same? They're they're like cousins. Hmm. So these are. Does this one have a seed? It does, and I think that's the reason why you don't get the overripe ones. I could bite around it. That's the thing. I find that I, I don't know. I mean, you can try, but it's really hard to bite through. It's easier to chew. Hmm. I like this one better. Yeah? Mm -hmm. More grapey? Mm -mm. The texture is great, but not the flavor. This one is real low. You're eating the weird skin on the inside, too, that goes around the seed. You don't even care. Mm -hmm. I was a little bothered by it. Scott and I just got done watching the sunset. gorgeous here. Today is day six in Hawaii. Um, yesterday we did that crater hike to the bottom of the volcano and then there was one more trail that we really wanted to do or mostly I wanted to do because it was through the woods but they had the road blocked off. Um, so we kind of just left after that. Um, we watched the sunset on the beach a little bit at the resort and now we're going to pick up a little bit of breakfast before we go to the beach which I'm really excited about because we haven't gone swimming yet in the ocean. We just found out today that if we were saving all of our receipts we... For the UBC store. Yeah for this specific store there's different gifts for how much merchandise you've purchased so some girl actually on the way out just handed me her receipt and was like here we're leaving today we can't use it and it had like $53 worth of stuff so yeah we'll probably get a little free gift Mug. we got our breakfast down there we're gonna go get a coffee and then head to the beach mm -hmm. what we get <coughs> um, malasada that one's matcha, and this one is mango. They're donut holes, I guess, sort of, but Hawaiian style. Here she goes. Do you think there's cream in the center or no? No, absolutely not. Mm. Is that in the ube ones, or the ume, or whatever they are? 
Right. This one tastes more like a Zeppelin than the other ones. Oh. But you don't get any matcha from it. Mm. Here, you try it. This one has more sugar, I think, than the other ones we tried. That's what makes it more Zeppelin. But you don't get any matcha, right? Zero matcha. Yeah. <laughs> very, very strong amounts of just deep fried pork. Yeah. Eight of them out on that rock alone. <laughs> That's so funny. What's this guy doing? You gonna chase them away? I think they're trying to chase them away, but there's so many. It's not working. Look at this little baby. I didn't want that leaf. <laughs> they're so cute. We stopped for happy hour food without realizing it was Cinco de Mayo, so this, we got a taco special. <laughs> it worked out well. It's 5.15 and we're heading to the Manta Ray snorkeling adventure that we booked. Um, nighttime Manta Ray snorkeling. Apparently the algae that they feed off of is going to glow plankton. and plankton is going to glow and they're going to come feed and we're going to get to look at them. There's the wild kitty that I just pet, although he's probably not wild. He belongs to someone because he has a collar on, but he's just free roaming out here, living that's his best life. That's how outdoor kitties live. I know. Hello. Good boy. Oh my goodness. Yay. Sea Paradise, not Sea Quest. Oh. I like your socks. <laughs> I guess this is the boat we're getting on. You're pretty backlit. Can't even really see much of you. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> We're all waiting now to get on the boat. Look. I don't think you're supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> from the coast. Not far from where we got coffee. Apparently they're down here. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Yeah. 
it might run. Oh, my God. 